Hey, this is Jordan Johnson from Countryside Plumbing, Sewer, and Septic, coming out with you with a little video. Um, you can look up and read all about septic tanks on the internet, but um, I thought it's a little bit easier to just watch a video. So anyway, uh, a lot of people wonder how, what a septic tank is, how it works. This is a standard 1,500 gallon septic tank. So you can see it here. And I'm standing in it and I'm gonna take you in there for a little bit. Um, before I go in there, turn around and show you. This is the inlet pipe here. We put a two-way clean out. The pipe comes in through this hole. There we go. And into an inlet baffle. Okay. This baffle directs wastewater in here, down, and through the bottom. Over time, sludge builds up in the bottom of the tank. And we'll start raising up here, okay? And also over time, fats float up to the top of the tank up here. So what the baffle does is the baffle keeps the inlet from disturbing the fats up top and the, and the sludge at the bottom, the solids and the sludge are things that are not digested by the tank. The tank is basically, in a way, an extension of our stomach. So the bacteria that are in our stomach come down into this tank, decompose further, all the uh, wastewater becomes effluent, comes out of the tank, and goes out to a field. So if we go over to the other side here, this is a two compartment tank. So there's a hole here. This hole is about at the same level, flip you around, as that baffle. So what this hole does is this hole separates the clean wastewater in the middle of the two layers of sludge down here and scum up top. Now, once it goes through this hole, I'll pull the lid when I get up top here. That's the outlet baffle right there. So the water's gotta go back up that baffle through, through the layer of potential fats up top, okay, and then out. Um, what, what floats up to the top of septic tanks? FOG, fats, oils, and greases. Those are the kind of things that the purpose of these baffles is to keep the clean wastewater in the middle, it keeps the fat up here and the sludge down at the bottom. So this hole right here only allows more, a more clarified, treated, cleaner water out of the tank. Think that might be it for down here. Uh, disclaimer, sewage gas is poisonous. Um, so you don't want to crawl down in your septic tank for any reason whatsoever. And uh, I'm also in a brand new septic tank and it's, this is curing concrete. And curing concrete gives off uh, a lot of gases that are not normal breathing at atmospheric gases, uh, specifically a lot of carbon dioxide. So you don't want to stay down here and you should have air Anybody servicing a tank that goes down in the tank should have air. I'm going to take you back up the top here. I'm going to turn around this way. And you can see that there's two lids here. And I'll open that other lid that's just past that other baffle in one minute. Thank you, sir. So then down in here, there's that hole I was showing you. Here's the outlet baffle. So the treated sewage will come up the bottom of this pipe and then out this pipe. So again, it's leaving this clarified zone in here. It's only drawing water out of this clarified area. Ideally, the sludge sinks to the bottom and the scum sits up here at the top. And that's why you wanna call a pumper because over time, the fat goes down this way and the sludge builds up. And once the sludge gets to the bottom of the inside of that pipe, it's going to go out to the field and it'll wreck your field. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Post questions below. Thank you.